Honestly, it's, it's the closest and nicest school around here. That's what one parent said after learning Hills Elementary in the Iowa City School District could close. Now the district presented its plan to the community tonight, but board members won't vote on it until March 26th. School leaders say retiring the school would save the district more than one and a half million dollars annually, helping close a seven million dollar budget gap. Now the school's located in Hills, about eight miles south of Iowa City. It is the smallest school in the district with an enrollment of 141 students. But the school's potential closure brought out many community members who are urging the district to keep it open. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tabak reports. Hills Elementary has been in the town of Hills for nearly 60 years. Daniel Bird has two children there and like many, sees it as an amenity for the town. I really like that the kids can walk to school as opposed to a bus commute or us having to do it before and after work. Bird isn't the only one concerned about transportation. Janice Acevedo has one child in preschool at Hills and another one she hopes to enroll next year. What about the parents that are out here and the people who live right across the street? I think for them it's it's more convenient having one here. Hispanic students make up 43 percent of Hills Elementary, more than three times the district average. Elena Ramirez has seen her son gain skills in English since he started as a kindergartner. Well, now he, he's in school and now he speaks a lot of English and he can spell more the alphabet. The district says declining enrollment to the school and budgetary realities make keeping the school open unsustainable. But this is difficult in a lot of different areas and if we felt like we had a better uh, recommendation to bring forward to the board that we would be considering doing that. The superintendent says it costs the district 1,000 more per student to educate them at Hills and the state's new voucher program is impacting enrollment. We've always known they were operationally inefficient. We've always known that and we put a lot of money into those schools and so it, it will you know, we're at this sort of precarious situation. The district says the other elementary schools are around 70% capacity and could accommodate Hills students. But Bert worries about his children not getting the same educational experience. I just don't see the ch child to uh, student to teacher ratio being that great that they can absorb a whole school as well as uh, extra bus drivers, extra, you know, stuff like that.